Oh, what a gorgeous day it is today. to admit that's a little risky without a winch but then again I kind of figured well if I had to dig myself out with my hands it's not that much snow but yeah made more little bitty hump here this stuff is just really icy underneath it's just not not done yet so it's kind of deep right through here we'll see what the heck happens one thing I really like is I'm sitting here in four wheel low and of course it's a standard and I got the axles locked and it's just slowly doing its thing which is what got me out of the, the problems I had up there I wasn't going to continue I was actually going to turn around because I'm really seeing a lot of snow it's just too early but so far my tracks aren't very deep but that's kind of cool. Four wheel low, lockouts are engaged, and uh, sway bar is disconnected. And it's just kind of creeping itself through the snow. Yeah, I don't dare go any farther, I don't think. Not without a, a winch. And I just, if I can't take the chance, if I got stuck, I, there's no way I can get out. But I think that it would continue just to creep up this creep up this hill. So that's as far as I can get, I think, for right now where I was going. Where I was wanting to get was to um, the trailhead to get to Oh gosh, what's the lake's name? Well, it gets me to Grand Park, I can tell you that. It's not useless. 
I don't remember the name of the lake. It's about a mile and a half that way through the snow. Grab some snowshoes next time and just go. I mean, this is a lot closer than I could get before. Um, so the, the year is changing. Time is changing. So I'm going to go look at some other stuff and do some other things. Well, I did make it a little bit farther. I <laughs> decided to keep trying. And I got up to about here, and I think it's too deep. The wheel started to slip. I started going, okay, nah, it's not worth it. Not seeing any trenching on the tires. Still a pretty shallow track. But I got a long ways to go. Time for Jeff to be a little bit more conservative. Okay, oh, well, you'll have to look really quick. This is my one and only rock climbing adventure today. <laughs> Whatever, right? But it's fun. It does good. Good purchase. Glad, I'm glad I got it. All the different beautiful colors in the trees. I hope the video, you know, video never can show it like I see it. It's just never as pretty. Video's video. Still want a better camera. Well, different camera. Love to capture the moments. slides that stopped me in the Margate beginning to where we just got to. So the Jeep did great. It did exactly what it's designed to do. Got me past the mess. This is the other one which is quite a bit larger. but was just nothing for the G. It rattles a little bit more with the top off. But it's not bad, it's still pretty darn quiet. It's got all the creature comforts, and I'm a creature. This is the uh, bridge for Huckleberry Creek, and the trailhead that and we did last week, is just on the other side of it. And the water's really raging. This white river while I'm filming going home is really cool. So beautiful.
Such a beautiful view. What a beautiful day. Uh, the temperature in the Jeep says it's uh, 75 right now. Mount Rainier is right over the, the other side of this. Still a lot of snow up there. This is Sun Top. And you can't get to Sun Top right now because they're logging on. So I've got a sign saying logging trucks only. It looks like the road up there still has a lot of snow on it. There's part of it there. I'd like to try to get up there, but I just don't know. And I've got to talk to the ranger station. The bad thing about the view is if I turn around, yeah, well, that's such a great view, huh? Yeah, I just don't get people. Old computer. And shoot it up. Yeah, that's just so much fun. No, it's an old VCR. Had the tape in it, too. I don't understand. And I kind of walked over here to see if there were any trailheads off of this road that I... This road kind of came to a dead end and... You know, of course, lots of trash everywhere. And of course, I guess you could take a dirt bike through here, which would be fine. But, you know, then there's their, their tent. I guess they didn't like their tent anymore. And, or broke it and decided just to throw it here. <sighs> it's kind of sad, though, isn't it? Look at that good-looking Jeep. Boy, mighty fine-looking, isn't it? Today it's getting used like a Jeep. Well, there's that beautiful mountain, Mount Rainier. I don't often see it from the side. Wish I could get around those trees, but can't. The uh, roads are still closed to Mount Rainier. Too much snow. They don't open for a month or so. It's so beautiful. There's even a better view of her. Boy, so pretty. Really good view of Lotahoma. Temperature shows it's 80 degrees out. Oh, there's a pretty view of her near. Yeah, it's just gorgeous, isn't it? Sun. I don't know if you can see it on the camera.
here is pretty. From this slope, there's a really good view of that cliff. Boy, it's huge. Just think of the, uh, the glacier coming down through that valley and cutting all that rock and leaving that cliff behind. I don't know the name of it. I'll have to go look it up on the map when I get back home. There's Cliff, Crystal Mountain, and then Sun Top. I've got a cell phone signal now, but the ranger station there, they're gone to lunch, so I won't answer their phone. But still, I'd try to get up there. There's part of the road going to it. Pretty, pretty, pretty. accessory I bought for this thing were the WeatherTech floorboards and they you can see how much dirt I drug just today and they worked real well I agree with some of the reviewers on Amazon that for the Jeep they they need to cover the carpet a little bit more they come up a little bit higher and I don't know why they got this hole over here but all in all they did pretty darn good and uh, I'll take it out and clean it later but it could could use being a little bit covering a little bit more carpet. Wow, what a day. It was a lot of fun. I didn't get up to the mountain yesterday. I had a package that was coming in and it had that signature and so I didn't go. And then I also had an orthodontist appointment at noon. Uh it did great today. I need some major cleaning, but it sure was fun. And uh yeah more off-roading and it sure opens up a whole new area for going out and doing stuff probably the most imp you know impressive thing that i i felt was when i was on, up on that snow and just putting in four wheel low and uh both lockouts locked and just letting it go if i put my big fat foot on the accelerator those wheels started spinning right away it, and when it was in that creep mode, fantastic. Um, it just keeps its own traction. I'm impressed, I'm really impressed. Uh, Jeep did a really good job. Of course, I'm not the first person to own a Jeep and that's probably why there's so many Jeep freaks out there, right? Uh, she's gonna be parked back in the garage and I mean, it's just gonna be a once a week or you know, every now and then vehicle. I'm, it's not gonna be my everyday driver, but it sure was worth the investment. And uh, get it all cleaned up. I've got a new bumper coming. Plan on adding a winch to it. And get that done next week. Yeah, fun day. Yeah, Mount Rainier is so gorgeous. And it was such a beautiful day up here today. Kind of picked a, a better day to go up there. Uh, Y'all take care, okay? See you around.